Mechanical engineer Alex Desmond has always been interested in cycling. Still, his foray into handy, accessible, adaptive bikes was actually prompted by a personal tragedy. A close friend of Alex's, the person who taught him how to ride a motorbike as a teenager, was permanently disabled after suffering a stroke. Alex would spend several years developing a rugged, adaptive mountain bike prototype that would give freedom to cyclists who use wheelchairs. Enter the Phase 83 from Orange. The first thing you'll notice is two independently suspended front wheels steered together by a custom-engineered cantilever linkage system. This allows each wheel to lean independently into corners, increasing traction and preventing the AD3 from tipping over when turning. Additionally, a balance handlebar attached to the linkage allows riders to maintain stability at low speed or when they come to a stop. This helps for another reason as well. Many wheelchair users have trouble getting in and out of vehicles. The added balance handlebar means that exiting and entering the AD3 can be done quickly and without any assistance. Orange bikes were meticulous in choosing the best quality materials and vendors for their various components. The linkage slides gracefully thanks to bearings by Rideworks and riders sit in a specially designed bucket seat that helps them engage their core for easier turning. Also equipped is a 9-speed drivetrain, a 2-kilowatt Paradox Kinetics motor, hydraulic disc brakes, and Fox suspension throughout. Power comes courtesy of a 504-watt-hour frame-integrated lithium battery that is boasted to allow up to 16 miles of trail riding in throttle mode. Take it climbing up technical hills, and you're only able to manage around a half a mile in distance. Alex was able to pair the prototype with Lorraine Tarong, an ex-WCS racer and lifelong mountain bike enthusiast. After several concussions and serious injuries, Lorraine was left with partial paralysis, severe headaches, nausea, and debilitating fatigue. It was an injury that sidelined her passion for almost seven years before meeting Alex. Lorraine wanted to get back on the bike and back into the sport she loved, but didn't want to settle for the generic adaptive bikes out there. She wanted an experience that was as close to real downhill mountain biking as possible. Lorraine and the AD3 were an instant match. On the mountain bike trails of Switzerland, Lorraine not only keeps up with all the other professional riders, but the AD3 made light work of even the most challenging terrains. Now, despite the 83's frame being made out of lightweight aluminum, the whole bike tips the scales at a hefty 66 pounds. Orange has said they can reduce the weight in subsequent models, but when transport and storage are an issue, maybe lighter is better. The 83 was a custom, high-spec build at this stage. And so, unsurprisingly, labors and material cost around $23,000. Despite this, the one and only customer for the 83 is more than satisfied, and Alex believes future production will be much cheaper. The two front wheel design isn't exactly new. However, you might remember when we covered the Rungu Dooley in our five most innovative electric bike companies made in America video. The only difference between this beast and the 83 is that the Dooley wasn't built with accessibility in mind. The Dooley is an all-terrain mountain e-bike capable of tackling a variety of surfaces with maximum stability. To learn more about the Rungu Dooley, click the card in the top right or check the link we've left in the description below. Speaking of light frames, we covered the Moto Perea carbon e-bike in a video earlier this year. But it's the raw power and futuristic aesthetics which really sets this e-bike apart. The carbon e-bike features an aluminum carbon fiber composite that is both ultra lightweight and super durable. A robust brushless motor with options up to 750 watts is powered by the integrated 48 volt lithium ion battery. For a full rundown on the carbon e-bike from Moto Perea, 
including all specs and performance details, click the card in the top right or check the link we've left in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, you could help us out by hitting the like button, subscribe, and keep up to date on future posts.